Hi folks, I just walked in the door. It's 6 p.m. here in Michigan. I hope everybody's doing really good. Um, I'm doing good, except I'm going to lose my voice. Fair warning. Uh, once again, I work the whole day at the rifle range. And with the um, ear protection, I have to do a lot of yelling. So I guarantee I'm going to lose my voice. Um, before I get a whole bunch of Rick, Rick, Warthog, you got to quit smoking. I know. And I have been vaping for two weeks. So I have heeded your fair warning. But I'm going to lose my voice, and that's mainly from yelling. Um, I never thought I'd say this, but I can't wait till I get back to my real job, which is a nice, quiet workbench in the corner of the shop. Uh, <clears throat> the gun range is fun and all, exciting. You get to meet veterans and um, police officers and hunters and um, get to meet a lot of people, but it's it's loud and a lot of yelling and at the end of the day, I pretty much sound like this if it's been a busy day. So, but anyway, I'll try and get through this. I was going to do a video on the international budget knives today, but since I'm going to lose my voice, I'm going to push that back till Sunday. But you guys got to watch that because I'm going to have an announcement. It's a holiday announcement. Cheers, cheers. So uh, be there or be square. But the, so I'm going to substitute it with this Boker Expedition knife. I noticed there was quite a few, well, at least a couple people that showed interest in it. And I want to try and save you some money by telling you where I bought it. I'm going to leave a link in the description box that'll take you right to the page. But I paid $117 shipped to the door. Um, for that <clears throat> and Boker USA is selling them for $200 so there's $80 savings right there so let's take a quick spin as you'll see it's pretty much all the same stuff because I've been a busy busy young man only thing that's different is I put uh, the Queen City fishing barlow up there and the stuff I carried today threw that out all nicely. But anyway, I'm losing my voice, so let's get right to it. The Boker Expedition. Brass bolster. Uh, OD green canvas micarta. Now, this is on the same pattern as their basic Barlow. They're three and three eighths inch from top to bottom and very narrow. As a comparison, here's a more beefy Shat and Morgan single blade, which is uh, probably three and a half inches, but a lot thicker, although this is bone too. But I consider these Boker Barlows light duty, and this more is a gentleman's Barlow. So if you are interested in, you know, you are buying it, I, I don't know how it's going to work for a work knife. I'm sure it'll hold up because it's built really well. As you'll see, the quality on it is perfect. Well, near perfect. There's no gapping. It's a little bit of a space up here. Let's see if we can get that up there. Not much. I kind of wish they didn't use the badge on this because with the micarta you get a lot of these cloth strands that you can probably clean up with your thumbnail. Yeah, see, look, I already got rid of most of that. But it's it's what Boker does. They put that um, chestnut tree on everything. Now, one of the other things about this knife is the blade is coated. It's not acid washed. It's kind of like the same coating Spider Co uses, which is a powder coat satin finish. And on a normal knife, I wouldn't be, you know, 
real happy with that. That's why I don't buy a lot of Spydercos. But it works with this knife, just with the color combinations. You'll see the brass bolster is not a brush brass. It's a bead blast. So it kind of has a little glitter effect to it. This is 440C. Stainless. And here I'll compare it just so you can, I don't know if the satin finish is coming off. But there you go, you get the polished um, fingerprint magnet, whereas here you got the powder coat. Oh, by the way, I picked this up on eBay for $58 shipped to the door. So <clears> that was a pretty good deal for that. Anyway, back to this Barlow. Uh, I also like the shiny brass liner. Works real good with the um, green canvas. Really like this knife. It's a Barlow collector's dream because there's nothing else like it. Once again, um, I mean, the fit and finish is spectacular. Everything depends, everything's smooth, transitions. Um, very good matchup at the top. Maybe a little sunken, barely. See at the half stop. It's a little proud at the half stop. No blade wobble. Nice Barlow. Nice gentleman's Barlow. It's a light duty Barlow. Lots of snap, walk and talk. Get you a good look at it. Centered right down the middle. All right, let's get to the meat and bones on where to get this. Um, in case anyone's interested in buying it. I'll leave the link to it, but it's called Outtack Gear, and it's in Germany. And you'll see the price on it. $110, and if you click on the little tab in the upper right corner of the website, um, you, of course you'll have to leave them your email address so they can send you... Uh, you know, advertisement, but you'll get eleven thirty nine off ten percent, and of course you'll have to pay shipping. But your subtotal after the discount will be ninety nine fifty, uh, eighteen dollars to ship. This is for the U S. Um, so your total is one hundred seventeen fifty, and. The premium shipping is UPS, so once they do ship it, it gets there pretty quick. The problem was I'm not going to give them a lot of accolades for their customer service because it took over probably um, seven business days to process the order before it was even shipped, which I don't know, maybe they were real busy. So either way, I mean, take a look at the website. Uh, a lot of their knives are cheaper than anywhere else. The problem is you, this is only a one-time discount. So I don't know if I'll buy. I'll have to kind of look around to see what the pricing is. Because actually $18 shipping overseas isn't really that bad. And their prices are good. So take a look at them. See if you like them. Um, I don't know if I said uh, Boker USA is selling these for $200. So if you get it at Outtack, that's a savings of $80 right there. Um, I'm not sure what Blade HQ was selling them for, but I know they're sold out there. So if you're interested, I mean, $120 is strong, but... I mean, it's it's a really nice Barlow, especially for collectors. So, my friends, until next time.
Take care. Peace. Bye-bye.